Hey everyone, um, my name is Megan Hall. I am the podcast consultant for Create Captivate. Uh, many of you may have uh, known me as the, sorry, I'm going to check to make sure everything is going good, <clears throat> the admin assistant, um, but over the next couple months, yeah. I'm, I'm live. <laughs> I started talking to myself. Um, know me as the admin assistant, but uh, I will actually be transitioning out of that role in the next couple months. So today I am here to talk to you about uh, my three tips, three things you need to do before developing a podcast. We've actually done several Fridays on podcasting. If you go to our Friday playlist, if you go to videos, and then um, to the scroll down to the playlist, you'll see the Friday playlist. There's tons and tons of information there, um, including several about podcasting, both podcast guesting and um, being a, becoming a podcaster. Uh, so I always say that podcasting is easy, but it is time consuming. Uh, unless you have a team of people who are gonna do all the things for you, it does take a lot of time. Uh, I've been doing it for five years, actually, this month. Uh, my podcast, the Inspired Women podcast, uh, celebrated its fifth birthday. It was birthed October of 2016. Uh, and in the beginning, it took a lot more time than it does now because now I have a you know, routine and, and how to get things done. So my three things. First, you need to listen to podcasts. <laughs> It is wild to me that people will start a podcast without ever listening. Uh, it also is wild to me that people will start a podcast in a certain genre without actually listening to podcasts in that genre. So you have to think about like, what is my podcast going to be about? And then you need to find podcasts that have a similar theme and listening, listen to those. Uh, because who's the best people to learn from about podcasting? People who have actually been podcasting. And podcasting for a while, I would not look for podcasts that just started out, have a couple episodes, look for podcasts that have been around for a couple years. Um, because in the beginning, it is, uh, you know, if I go back and listen into episodes of the Inspired Women podcast from the beginning, uh, it makes me cringe. So <laughs> I've learned a lot over the last five years. Uh, second, you need to you need to think of a name that you want for your podcast, and you need to search for those names, not just in like your podcast app you listen to, but on Google, because some people may not be featured on all podcasting apps, but you definitely do not uh, one because it could be a trademark <laughs> issue. Uh, you do not want to have the same name as somebody else. You want your podcast to stay to stand out, um, have its own unique name uh you don't want it to be too similar to some play somebody else's so definitely look up names um to see if there's anything out there that is like yours uh and three ask your ideal audience what they do and do not like uh that's the perfect people to tell you and i've gotten feedback over the years from my own audience on what they do and do not like they do not like me going over the 45 minute mark i will tell you that right now <laughs> i've been told that multiple times uh but getting that feedback will help you start on the right foot a lot of this stuff i'm telling you are things i learned along the way and i wish i had done in the beginning now looking back i can give people really good advice on where to start because I made all those mistakes first, right? I did not ask my ideal audience, but I do ask them frequently now, like, um, please give me your feedback. What do you do and do not like? So again, podcasting is easy, but it is time consuming. It takes a lot to set it up. Uh, again, I told you I birthed my podcast in October 2016. We didn't release the first episode until the end of December because it does to do it right, it actually takes months to set it up and, and get featured on all the places and, and do all the things. But if you really want to have your podcast be a good podcast, like take the time, take the time to listen to podcasts. Um, yes, listening to podcasts does not make you an expert on podcasting, but it does give you some ideas on uh, what's good, what's bad, what do you like, what do you not like. Um, and what are people talking about? Uh, it searched for the names, both for a trademark issue and to stand out. And finally, do not 
or do, do, not do not, do ask your ideal audience what they like and what they don't like so you can tailor your podcast to what they want. Uh, again, it takes time to set up a podcast. It, it's time consuming to like edit it and and release it and all those things. And if you need help, you need guidance, or guidance words are not my friend today, uh, you can set up a uh, an appointment with me, a podcast con- consult. I do podcast cons- consults on launching a podcast. I do podcast consults for uh, being a guest on a podcast. Uh, we do both 30 and a uh, 30 minute and one hour consults. So if you are interested in that, I will, uh, after this video, drop the calendar in the comments below so you can get started and um, schedule a podcast consult. So I hope that helped you all. I actually stuck with the five minute ish today. So I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.